Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, your buddy John Megacycle here. It's been a ridiculously long time since I played Deadlock 2, and it's a game I like. Uh, I can't play it too often, but I just was looking through my catalog, looking through some old games in my library, and um, this one popped up, what can I say? So, I went through my videos as well, and... There's two challenges that I was, like, really happy about that we ended on. But there's one challenge I was thinking about that I wanted to give a go. So there's two challenges I'm referring to. One was our Hogtied Everybody standard racial abilities. The other one was Fair Fight No Racial Abilities. Now, I want to mix the two here. We're going to go Hogtied. We'll get an explanation about what Hogtied really means as we choose our... Uh, Faction, a race. The races in this game. Um, every time, like I play, like generals, like Command and Conquer General Zero, or I say, "Which race are you?" Which isn't correct because they're just different factions, right? Uh, but anyway, like StarCraft Two, you could say races. It's Terran, it's Protoss, it's Zerg, whatever. So anyway, uh, conquest. You have to murder Kate everybody. Uh, all full party, full boat. World resource amounts. Um, let's shut that off so it's, like, completely, completely fair. Um, world resource amounts... Actually, I'm not too sure what that'll do. Let's leave that on. Maybe that'll mess with it too much, but what I've been doing is just thinking about this. So, yeah, no abilities, so it doesn't matter if you're Tarth that has better food production, or you're the Uva Mosk that might do better with other resources, or whatever. Doesn't matter. So, let's go. Custom planet. We're going to do a tight, tight match. Uh, size 20. I, it doesn't matter the parameter of the world. I don't care, really. Uh, Icy's fine. Food's going to be difficult, but with Hogtide, everything's going to be difficult anyway. No oceans, no wastelands. Everything else I don't care about. Let's go. So, Hogtide. Most difficult level, your starting resources are meager. Your military strength is severely compromised, and your production is much slower than normal. Because of these hindrances, your score will be boosted 50%. Everyone's hogtied. And since there's no such thing as a racial benefit, it doesn't matter who I play. Uh, human, I guess. It does. It honestly doesn't matter. Um, I've disabled the audio from taunts because this game mode is very taunt heavy. Uh, also, there's no alliances, uh, which makes that kind of easier. Um, planes would be ideal. Like a corner spot would be cool. You got the Relu and the chit chit right here. Doesn't matter. Commander Morel, sky high in your new colony. What's your first priority? My first priority is not to get my thwompum thwomped. Oh, we've got quite a bit of food here. Um, does it suck? Okay, food's good. Power's good. Wood is garbage. <laughs> Is, uh, is Endurnium or Iron any good? Iron's kind of crap. Endurnium's absolutely crap. Okay. Uh, we might have ourselves cut out here. Uh, actually, I feel kind of bad about getting that much food. No, don't save. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna re-roll it. I feel like that's too much of an advantage for us. We're gonna shut... I'm gonna leave that on. I can't decide. Okay, yep. Yep. Hogtide. Humanos. Great. Great, 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 great. Uh, planes? I like a corner piece. Uh, planes are going to be better for food and wood. Swamp is going to be better for power and endurium. Uh, mountains are going to be better for defensive bonus. You get, like, a small defensive bonus. You also get better iron. Um, so there's, like, a reason to pick a territory. Forests are better, way better for lumber. Um, there's also a wasteland and an ocean tile type, which we're not going to see. Okay, good to meet you, Commander. What should our colonists tackle first? And, okay, I don't feel like this. Oh, wow, with the food. Okay, maybe this won't be... No iron. Oh my god, the endurium's even worse. Okay. Uh, first things first. We are going to set up base right here. Uh, let's check on power. 15, 18, 
18, 20 on power. That's not bad. Where's iron? Iron's garbage. So it is going to be genuinely difficult for us to raise any sort of a military with any efficiency. But that's okay. I'm going to set my colony to, or my colonizer to settle here. Uh, where's food at? Uh, 42, 50, 56, 52, 52, 56, 54. Fine by me. Okay. Uh, I'm going to kind of blast through some of these turns. I have my left hand on the enter key, my right hand on the mouse. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit enter just to skip turns. Uh, we need to do a little min-maxing, but not a super ton. And if this is the first time you're seeing Deadlock 2, it's a turn-based strategy game. Uh, the short of it is there's one planet left in the entire universe that's completely uncolonized. All of these races come together and forge an, an agreement that very meager resources are going to be sent to this colony. And this colony on this planet, everyone gets a swing at it. Uh, you get to start up and you get to build your empire on this col on this planet. Um, this is Deadlock 2, so this also has the Shrine Wars moniker. So there's the shrines we're also fighting for. Uh, I'm pretty okay with that being there. One. Two. Uh, so yeah, turn-based, turn-based strat strategy, stratagem, stratagem. There we go. I can say words. Uh, we're going to rush for Chaos Computers. Nuclear Fusion is going to allow us to build better power plants. Chaos Computers is better research facilities. So we're going to rush that as quickly as we can. I'm throwing everything I can into all this setups. That way we can get a proper amount of resources flowing, enough people going. Uh, everyone else on the map, every other player in this game... We would have seen the same way in the other Hogtide challenge. The AI just does a poor job. Get out of here, you jerk. Uh, the AI does a poor job when resources are super, super, super tight. Um, I don't think the AI truly understands how to accept an, a loss of income to better influence later turns. And what do I mean by that? So what I want to do is I want to stockpile power and uh, food. But right now I don't really have enough workers and this is going to be a drain on my capacity if I start upgrading my power plant. So I'm actually going to shut off my laboratory. I learned a neat little trick. You can actually shift click, move way more people at a time, way less clicking. Uh, I wish I knew that years ago, but whatever. So right now, I'm investing in power. We're trying to surplus as much food as possible. Because later on, we'll also get, what is it, nutrient fabrication? No. Synthetic fertilizer. There it is. Uh, that's going to allow us to upgrade our fact, uh, food. Uh, but I want to make sure our farm is stockpiled with as much food as possible so I can take a food hit. So that's kind of what I'm talking about here. Um, I don't think the AI does a good job stockpiling. So now we have enough power. Now I can turn this back on. Dedicate completely to research. We're not going to bother with electronics. Uh, profits across the board. We're just going to muscle our way to Chaos Computer. Now, at this juncture, we've maxed out our population, which is fine. Um, I actually have enough food, so we can actually do a little bit of this. Uh, do I need four? I need four to make it two turns. Um, our production is crap. Everything is crap. <laughs> Everything is crap. Uh, so we're going to have to be very careful how we do upgrades, how we do our changeovers of production when we're working on different things, molecular bonding. Um, actually, I want antimatter containment. That's going to give us another level of power plant. Advanced medicine, metallurgy, uh, synthetic fertilizer, automation, molecular bonding... Talk to me after that. Uh, we could do one, two, no. Uh, let's stay with where we're at. Uh, very soon, I'm going to want another farm. Lumber's not bad. Put that right there. I'm going to put that as a place marker. I don't need it to be built right now. That can just kind of sit. Now, this gets a nice upgrade. I'm also going to be out of power again. Or incredibly low. So let's make sure we get that up. Uh, that's going to be my mine. 
for as garbage as it's gonna be. So 16 is the winner for the day. Work on our power plant. Haven't seen a lot of colonization here, so it's actually nice we've been on our own. Come on, come on, Uh, good. Still stockpiling a lot, a lot, a lot of... Yeah, there we go, okay. So, what was our cue? We're going for... Yeah, I don't care. We're going for... Antimatter containment. We could have gone synthetic fertilizer first, but we're actually making a fair amount of food. So I'm not hurting for it, really. You know, we maxed out again, that's fine. That gives me a very strong level of control as to what ought to be built. Now, I need that power to stockpile up so we could do the antimatter containment. I should have went synthetic fertilizer first. Oh, that hurt. Okay. Good stuff. Now, I like to upgrade everything at the same time. It's a little dangerous, but the nice thing is we've got a surplus. We've got, what is that, 11 turns worth of burn, and I need four turns? Yeah, perfect. That's also going to free up a few more colonists. The antimatter containment mega machine, whatever, only needs three workers. Now, I know I'm losing a little bit of research here. I could actually do a little min-maxing and get a little bit of electronics. Why not? Just there we go. I'm going to take two turns anyway, and I'll switch it back. Okay. Um, we can burn through a little bit of this one. Uh, also, very soon I'm going to need to push more on lumber. Wood? Is it wood? Timber? What is it? Okay. You're going to make me ask? Hello. Uh, it is called wood. Very good, thanks. Wait, was there something funny there? Kelp farms only produce food. Very good. Yes, could you imagine kelp lumber? I freaking can't. That sounds hilarious, though. That sounds like a, a joke somebody didn't come up with yet. Oh my god. Wood, why are you so bad? <laughs> okay. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm going to reduce taxes. Uh, we're going to soon suffer overpopulation. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce our taxes to give us a bit more of a flavor boost. Scaring or checking in every once in a while. Uh, do not want. Thanks. Do not want. There we go. Uh, your production of lumber is significantly better. Um, either way, I would like us to get everything upgraded. I'm a real stickler for upgrades, you dig? Um, and we'll have some more peeps coming our way. Nope. You can spend all day worrying about min-maxing all the values, making sure everything's buttoned up. Ah, in my age, I've kind of found myself to be more of a casual gamer, and not like, oh, I play on my mobile phone. Not that level of casualness, but... The days which I really, really lose my mind over trying to make sure all the numbers are plus and everything, eh. Uh, it's too much, man. It's just, it's too much. It's not a bad thing. I, I tip my hat to people who are like, yes, and by the division law, if you go ahead and factor this down to re-benefit the recumbent system of all recycled... Oh, God, just... Oh, I got vertigo from all that, and I'm making I'm making fun of some random person I just made up. All right, uh, molecular bonding allows us for our better drills. Um, I think I want to try endurium, endurium mining, even though it's garbage. Um, okay, we can't build the next level of drill because it requires iron. I don't have any iron. Um, we could sell something that had iron. Uh, as a material. There we go. I got there in the end. Uh, but that's okay. That big video. Still no, still no uh, neighbors, which is nice. I'm gonna go and do that. And because we have the research, upgrading actually doesn't cost any materials except time, which is nice. So what we can do is like if we want to build a fancy antimatter plant, if we've got a ton of labor available. 
we won't build an antimatter plant immediately. Antimatter plant? Antimatter plant, yep. We'll build, like, a nuclear fusion plant. Which is the base level power plant. And then just go from there. So we still got a very strong control over the population. Uh, four iron. Oh my god. <laughs> That's actually terrible. Is there endurium? Yeah, that's the one spot. Okay, I'm gonna wait for my 10 iron. There we go. That goes there. Everyone on it. Uh, I can't build a military without iron. Oh. No, I could build... I could build infantry. I could recruit infantry battalions. Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> The first factory is just going to be pounding this crap into steel. Uh, okay. Let's get... Is there anything else, like, super critical I need? This stuff is too far out, I think. We can hit it. Can we hit Cortex Scanner? That'll give us the next level of research laboratory. Wow. Okay. So, here's the joke, right? I can get four iron, or I can make one endurium. Why do I care about endurium? Endurium has the value of five metal per piece. It's a five to one. Actually, how is it phrased? Endurium. Metal cannot be mined to your client's research. The technology endurium mining, a rare ore endurium, has five times the metal value of iron. So, let's... When I was a wee kid, that didn't make any sense to me. But just to break it down, if something requires 50 iron, I can either use 50 iron or 10 endurium. That's how it works. It's like much more... I don't know how to phrase it. I'm not a metallurgist, but that's how it works. So one piece of endurium is actually better than four pieces of iron. And the simple fact that I could do it with one person is actually pretty good. Uh, that sucks. Two. So I'm technically making ten iron a turn. Uh, I need another drill. I, I can't do anything like this. No, not that one. It bloody doesn't matter where I build this. Okay, cool. Uh, we're gonna build two more. Cannot emphasize enough how important this is going to be. So the thing is, as a human, as a human player, not the human race here, but as a human player, I can identify where there are shortfalls, and I can do my best to work through those shortfalls. The AI doesn't really do that. The AI assumes, and I, I don't know the code, but like from years of playing this game, the AI does a fairly good job balancing things. Like, there's one territory that might have four farms in it because the farming's really good. There might be another territory with six power plants because the power is really good. Like, they're trying to average it out using every single territory to its strength. However, in a match like this, where everything is almost actual garbage, it doesn't help. Let's do a quick test. Yep, okay, well, guess what? One person, locked forever. I'm going to guess same thing here. Yeah, you guessed it, boyo. Bop. Okay, lock, lock. Do this, Saruni. Yep. Cool. I'm making four Endurium a turn, which means times five. It's 20 iron a turn. That's terrible. A regular surface mine should be able to pull that, but it it's, it's crap. Okay. Uh, just to be clear... Eh, screw it. Let's stick with Endurium. Um, the next process up to turn... So you could turn iron into steel for an improvement, or Endurium into tritium. So we're going to go tritium processing. I'm going to build a factory, and we're just going to turn that into tritium. It'll double our value, right? It's been a while since I played. Endurium is five times. Tritium is ten times. So we'll double our resources. Uh, desperate times, desperate rhymes. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna go with that. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. How long is that gonna take? Five turns? Cool. Yep. Time to get our population moving up. Oh, actually. Uh, strike that. We need culture. 
Where's our next power basin? Right there for eight. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So we'll eat up this 12. We'll eat up that 11. I want to get our culture dialed in, and then we'll also need another hoose. Another hoose. Not anyone else in here? Oh, there is. Crap. Okay. And we'll do this one at a time. So this is the thing. Like, it, it, this is a marathon-ish game mode. Uh, what I'm going to do... Still do that. Let's start pulling people out of the farm. We have almost a thousand surplus food. And that's about a good comfortable level. Um, a thousand is a lot of resources. But what that allows us to do is in case we lose a territory, it's not a it's not like, oh crap, now the entire system falls apart. We have a bit of surplus, it's good. We've only got the one territory that makes us pretty pretty easy. Uh, yep, so I'm going to burn a couple of turns here. The Tarth offer food. I don't need food. Thank you. Uh, as a sign of goodwill, you're going to give me food. As a sign of goodwill, I'll kick your ass last. Uh, that's mostly because they are on the other side of the planet. So, mer, mer. I don't care. Cool. We have our first museum online. That means we actually have some culture. So I could actually trim out all of the... 14? 12? Oh, you're making culture too. Okay, let's wait one more turn. Okay, now we have 24 culture. Uh, from no taxes to heavy taxes. That'll do. Okay, so we're making now 100 monies a turn. That's very 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 worth it upgrade the house gonna guys i want to have about 500 lumber on hand before i do any real manipulation of this guy building food replicators requires like 250 wood or something ridiculous needs quite a bit of juice uh but we'll be all right yeah see we're already refilling everything Oh, yeah. Let's get this guy upgraded. Uh, I think we're pretty safe resources across the board. Uh, what this is going to allow is I'll be able to build my flippin' factory. Ash. Boop. That maxed. I don't... Skirinine. <laughs> I don't deal with you. You're the jerks. You are the biggest jerks. Uh, and I cannot afford a scandal. <laughs> as much as I would love to just buy a disruptor cannon, I can't afford any of that from the uprising side. One, two, three. Uh, actually, before we do anything, can you turn that iron into steel? Oh yeah, very quickly. Uh, that doubles it? Uh, how well did that do? Steel. Steel has five times the... Okay, so that turns it into Endurium, effectively. Um, so, uh, multiply my money times five, sure. So what I could do is I could switch back to iron, and then just produce a ton of steel. Because that would give us far more volume. Uh, I think I'm pretty happy with our Endurium setup, though. Oh, we finished Cortex Scanner. Holy crap. Uh, I'm going to be out of power again. Trying to build for resiliency here. Uh, okay, almost done. Cool. Uh, let's upgrade one more. Uh, at a minimum, I need, I think, three upgraded to max and one level one residential i like to upgrade all my residential because in case i lose one maxed out it's a capacity for 1500 people i lose and that's not funny oh yeah we're just gonna stack up on some more nope a stack did i buy that 
must have bought that because my money went down. I thought hitting enter canceled that. That's eh, cheap. Well, it's cheap, but it's not cheap. I'm paying the money. Money, money. Okay, we have collective tech lab. Amazing. We have money coming in. Amazing. We have almost a new power plant. Amazing. We're good on food. We're still producing lumber, which I don't need anymore. Cool. Yep. Stockpile on all the food. Not want to be anywhere near a situation where food is an issue. Guys over there. Um, actually, I could use some colonizers. What I normally would do, I guess in this situation, is I would just build up an army worthy of Mordor and then beat the crap out of the AI forever and ever. Amen. Um, I want to play this a little smarter, though. Okay. I don't want... Man, I've been hitting enter on that for years just to skip past it. I didn't even realize I was paying for it. That's okay. All right. Um... What is the territory looking like? Wow! Just bananas on food. This is a rich endurium tile. This is also a rich endurium tile. They are garbage. I don't know how anyone's going to build an army. I don't know how any AI is going to build an army. Um, okay. I don't know how everyone else is doing. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do our army thing. Maybe we can make this a quick game. Six is fine. I'm out of steel. I'm out of mo I'm out of metal is the issue. Uh, yes, tritium processing would be dope. Uh, I don't need wood. Thanks. Trading is super weird in this game. Um... Yeah, um, <laughs> there's really no indication as to what an enemy or an ally wants or needs. Here, one, fifty. Like, to trade completed, the colony felt your offer would cost too much, they refused to trade with you. Technically, the only thing that got completed was the trade negotiation. Not any trading was done. I do apologize if you hear a cat meowling. It is Jax. He believes it's bedtime. But dude, it's 3.30 in the afternoon. It's not bedtime. It, it's well past nap time. Which is a valid complaint. No. Nope. Wish you guys would stop trying to be so chummy. Okay. Um, the next critical thing will be metal replication, food replication, subspace scanner. So let's see if we can do subspace scanner. That seems like a, a pro move. Get me a little more frickin' metal up in the business. Uh, we're gonna crank through these fusion cannons. I'm just gonna hit enter a bunch. Any more? Uh, two more. One. Okay, so now... Uh, nope. You stop. So this will double our tritium again, or our endurium value, or it'll double our iron value? Bleh. It'll be good. Just hang on to your butts. It'll be good. Um, yep, I got all my things. Do, do, do. Go to Prairie of Flowers. Sounds fine. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, yep, that's fine. 50 population, no power. You have another colony, though. We're gonna beat the crap out of the Sith, um, for reasons. I don't need to watch it. Yeah, see, th because everyone is doing so poorly, um, almost every battle is a ton of fanfare. I don't need this lumber. The Ufa Mosque are actually doing pretty well. Oh, never mind. Saw that colony, and it's all gone to crap. Uh, more than half of the general population is cheesed. Oh, oh, sorry, Sith. Boop. 
And there's the Sith. Now, another thing that's really interesting that can happen in this game, uh, because of how hogtied everyone is, is an AI could just die on their own. It looks like the Chit Chit might actually die on their own. They can starve themselves to death. You guys got all the way to antimatter? Huh. That's fairly impressive. Mantle drills? Look at you guys. Look at you guys. Yeah, still keep cranking out that tritium. Uh, I don't think I've got enough guns to take out the main squeeze, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rough up some of these jerks. Uh, any resources? I'm looking for, like, electronics or anything. Would be uh, this is also a lot of very free experience points for my troops. And that's the chit chit. Scrap adapt. Come all the way back to Sith. Uh, any electronics? None of that is of any interest to me whatsoever. So that is fine. Uh, subspace scanner is the next thing I want. Uh, we could actually... Let's grab another colony. I should have grabbed the colony beforehand. Or sooner. Uh, prairie of flowers sounds great. Don't want any of that. I want you to come all the way to prairie of flowers. Now, let's get this base set up, shall we? Uh, wood and iron. Oof. Yeah, I ain't got the scrap for that. Boom. Uh, I kind of like to lay out my base a little bit at once. And where is the metal at? Oh yeah, this is the one I was making fun of how absolute garbage it was. Uh, let's start with that. Are there any free peoples I can use? Uh, yep, guess what? Here's eight of them right here. Boop. Pull up. And because taxation is ridiculously high... Get this patched up a little bit here. Uh, high taxes are like the only thing I can do to make any substantial amount of cash quickly. Uh, how many we got? Seven? Ship over all seven. I need this colony up and ready as soon as humanly possible. Which is funny because I'm playing as the humans. Lol. I'm the master of comedy. Four, look at a two. Nope. You are just doing food. We are just going to build resiliency. Uh, can we upgrade that faster? Kind of, kind of not. Uh, we got four spare people. One, two, three, four, five. I don't care. I don't care. Okay. How much tons of Endurium? Oh my god, I can make two Endurium. I'm not going to use that many people. Nuts to that. That's... Can I, can I do like a lot of iron? Oh my god, it's even worse. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. I'm not even going to test this one. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, actually, this is the three. Nope. Oh, okay. If it produced three, I would have been like hot dangs. Uh, there we go. Our mining empire is flourishing. Lol. Alright, you pop a lop in there. Oh, this wasn't as tough as I thought it was going to be, but it has been, like, work, right? It's been some effort to get this done and done correctly. Um, one more. I need that on lock all the time. We are very desperately low on materials. Uh, lumber not so much, food not so much. Uh, power? This area is crap for power as well. Uh, we're gonna use the nuclear plant because it requires significantly less iron to make, and I don't mind using the people power to upgrade the stuff. Ah, 14, oh my god. Uh, no, I wasn't done with that. It's a nice thing that this closes after I built my thing, but I'm not done with it. Uh, 13. 
Uh, yeah. And then 12, okay. One turn, eight turns. Who's producing antimatter? <laughs> what? How? Okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm just abundantly curious as to how you got antimatter. Nope. Okay, one, two, five. Antimatter is used for advanced weaponry later in the game. The, uh, is it the shockwave dreadnought? The shockwave cannon? Oh, no, the disruptor cannon. The holocaust cannon. And... There are missiles. There are also missiles that require antimatter stuffs. Oh, we're not going to use any of that. So it's not that big of a deal. Uh, boop, boop, get in there, yep. We gotta build out a lot of power infrastructure because I plan on making this a manufacturing capital. And I don't have defenses? Have I built any defenses? I haven't built any defenses. Okay. Uh, I should have come back here and done stuff. Uh, energy deflectors require five energy a turn. I'm gonna do it because I'm flipping worth it. Another, you, you better believe another power plant. Um, why am I building power plants? Aside from the obvious fact that I need them, um, the other thing, honestly, is I want to reduce how much transportation is happening. So, what is it here? This. Every bit of transit costs money. Uh, anything being transferred from anywhere to anywhere. So, I want to try to do our very, very best to make sure that we are keeping that as low as possible. So, if I can uh, click this, I'll see what this specific colony is spending. So this is spending quite a bit of energy. I want to make sure there's plenty of energy here. And I don't want it to be shuffled to boot. Cool. We have... Yeah, let's get all this other tech. Man, structures is dope. We're just going to catch up on all that stuff. Uh, yes, we get to upgrade now. So, how long does this take? 23 turns. Good lord. I'll come back to you. <laughs> uh, we're building defenses right now? I'll come back to you. Good, sweet genius. Uh, we're upgrading all of our power base, so I'm not going to do anything here either. Nope. Nope. Uh, that should be completely in there. Um, I will need some culture. Yeah, I want to ramp up quickly if possible. Uh, hi. No antimatter pods ever. Thank you very much for your concern, but no. But no. Um, no, um, no. Still making tritium. Excellent. The, these guys are having such a bad time. Uh, buildings will still run if they're out of power. They just suck at it. Uh, I'll be honest, it's been a while since I've ever let my base go out of power. So I'm not entirely sure what happens. Uh, if it's like an advanced manufactory replication blah 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 facility, I'd assume nothing works. Uh, everyone goes home because nothing works. Uh, I don't know how that works here, so... That six turns is fine. Uh, I'm actually going to upgrade just one of you at a time. If we're getting literally one Endurium again, uh, upgrading these are just going to be a big pain of energy cost. Which I do not want. We're finally getting cloning. Holy cripes, we're finally getting cloning. I don't use cloning. Um, it's a great way to ramp up population, but it cheeses off people. People no like. No like the clones. Closer we on stuff, okay. Okay, one turn, two turns, four turns. Uh, yep, yeah, upgrade immediately. We'll take a small happiness hit. I think I already have you on reduced taxes. I do, so we're not going to worry about that. 
Take this all nice, even, Steven. Three more turns. Man, all the numbers in my head, I already know how stuff upgrades and how quickly it upgrades and how many people it takes, but this hogtied stuff, <laughs> it's rough, man. It screws up my brain. I'm like, I should have taken three turns three turns ago. Oh, it didn't because it takes six turns. Ah, <laughs> I understand now. Okay, that's going, that's going, this is going. What do we have? A ton of extra food, a ton of extra food. Don't need food. Worry about the foods. Uh, I know I've got a lot of construction going on. Uh, our population has stopped, which is fine. Not super worried about it. We got power. One more turn on that. One more turn on that. One more turn on this. Nope, go away. Two Endurium. So this takes 10 energy. This takes 5 energy and we get the same product. So that tells me upgrading stuff is a waste of 5 energy. So that's why I only wanted to upgrade one thing before I went through on this crazy metal hellscape and was like, yes, all the metal. You're going to call me the metal man because I'm all about the metal. Nope. No good. No good at all. No good for anybody. Uh, we're going to go back to moderate standard. Uh, that matches perfectly with the overpopulation and the taxation. And it matches pretty perfectly here as well. Excellent. Once this gets upgraded, we'll jack up the taxes just here. Okay. Uh, get more upgrades done. Any free people here? Everyone's 100% allocated. Looks like it. Okay, plenty of tritium still being built. Built? Made. Fabricate? Fabricated. Plenty of tritium still being fabricated. Those are words. Out of here, holy garbage. I went and I booted the Sith and the Chit Chit off the planet. Now everyone's just all about JMEGs. All right, we have defenses. Uh, I'm not upgrading that. Let's finish. Is this a power plant? What is this? Yep. Uh, like I said, really emphasizing power because I am absolutely going to turn this into a manufactory, manufacturing hub. Especially with metal replication, those power plants eat up a lot. Or those those uh, assembly plants eat up a lot of... A lot of jing jing, a lot of bing bing, a lot of bang bang. A lot of, a lot of juice. A lot of squeezy mo juice. Turn, because I'm lazy. All of our population centers upgraded. Don't be shy. There we go. Cool. Uh, yeah, I don't need to upgrade all of these. You mean all you can build is that unglorious antimatter plant? As in, of all places, Prairie of Flowers? You're really falling behind economically, aren't you? Oh, let me just check on your thing. Oh, right. Uh, you know how in some games the energy credit is like the universal symbol of wealth and commerce? How's that going for you? How's that going for you? <laughs> Wheezy. <laughs> the dwarf. I'm gonna. That's the one of the seven dwarfs of Snow White. The the mog are just Wheezy. <laughs> Don't care. Oh, that's still upgrading. Come on, get this thing done. Poor people doing nothing. Doing nothing. But I can't shift-click that last guy? Get out of here. That going... Yeah, enter buy stuff. Yep, I confirmed. I just went through 1,600 monies for no reason. Now I probably can't build my factories, can I? Oh, it's 266? That's a weird... That's a weird number. Alright, anyway, it doesn't matter. 
I'm gonna make that money back in no time. So here's how this works. Boop. Boop. Now, because we have manufacturing here, I could convert my endurium to tritium here, but I don't care. Oh yeah, this is this is exactly what I meant by manufacturing subdivision, whatever, whatever. Uh, one more? Yeah, one more. So now, in my primary colony, we can go absolute ham on some military. And we're going to have more than enough cash to back it up because of what we got going on here. And once we get to uh, replication, metal replication, uh, we'll free up even more people. So how much power do we have here? 64? I want another power plant. Gosh, I remember games where I only needed like one, maybe two power plants in a colony and then call it done. Not hogtied. Especially without any racial benefits. Uh, good. We are completely maxed out, which is fine. Trade is king. Uh, we're gonna bring you guys in here to finish this power plant, though. Okay, 766 monies. Uh, this colony's tax revenue pays for my military, so that's cool. Uh, where are we at research-wise? Your friction hulls. We got quite a bit more to go uh, before the next piece. Actually, wouldn't mind some labs. So let's shut two of you down. Now, the problem is when you shut it off... Oh, it does stay. Never mind. I was going to say it does forget your preferences on what's off and what's on, but that's not true at all. Uh, we're going to take a small break here. 56 research, that's garbage. I think they usually produce, uh, 75? But whatever, it's a tight game, I get it. And pull one off of you. We're gonna turn this into a college town in no time. Boop, 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 boop. And in three turns, we will have tripled our research. I have four turns. Four turns, we will have tripled our research. Oh, I did have plenty of electronics. I just had the... Shoot. Oh, that's fine. Uh, stock up a little bit more on electronics. Uh, do I have any spare workers? There we go. Uh, one. No! Cool. Uh, I didn't hit the confirm button, so it's all good. All right. You can go back to research. Now we're just going to pile through everything. One, two, three, four. I right, wouldn't mind some more. Let's get some just cannon fodder. There we go. Perfect. Wake me up when that's done. Oh my gosh, you guys get back online. Oh. I didn't think you had it in you. Look at that. Making me so proud. Uh, yeah, now research is a three-turn ordeal, and not a nine-turn ordeal. I can math. You're just jealous. Fifty. Oh, right. I don't know what's there. That's something that I found weird about orbital surveillance. We can get a good read on how many people live there, right? But I have no idea what structures are there. That always boggled my mind. It's like, you, you told me some information... Why not just tell me all the information? But whatever, I, maybe that'd make it too powerful. Uh, the game does want you to use spies and regular traditional levels of surveillance. I get it. It's still dumb. This one reset. Anyway. Uh, still looking good on that tritium, yo. I don't want food. I don't want iron. <laughs> iron is the new garbage. We're going to see this fight. No mines. That's ours. What? Okay. We literally don't win the fight, but they don't get to keep the territory either. 
So that tells me we've destroyed all the defensive structures and we killed all the civilians. Our militia. Don't get separated. Oh my gosh. Oh, actually, I didn't see this laser cannon here. Yep, okay, so the defense is lived. Yeah, I don't care. Um, there's no one, there's no one here. Can I send one person? Uh, I don't technically own the territory. Okay, that's fine. Uh, our production is bad, everything is bad. Uh, I don't have any other changes to this colony. This colony is completely self-sufficient, and that's beautiful. Uh, I don't need antimatter pods. K, okay, thanks. So what we have right now is we have an abundance of cash, which is great. I wanted to emphasize trade. Uh, we've got our research dialed in very heavily. I'm very happy with how this is working. We could say probably right now, you know what, given all the time in the world, we've won. But I like to make it a little more final. Poof, we're up to the good stuff. Metal replication, food replication. Call me when that's done. We're going to go through a new aged industrial revolution. What do you have here? What's your military? What is this? Some infantry and a bunch of dead stuff. Cool. Because it's about to get deadified. They sold it! They sold the colony, really? I thought that was a trick only I did. And they transferred all the stuff out, wow. Good on you, mate. Yeah, sure. That goes away. Because I was not joking about a new aged revolution of industry. I don't care, thanks. All right, now, uh, everything's gonna get upgraded at once. We're gonna have a massive power spike. Uh, but the beauty of all of this is, instead of six workers, we only need three. So it is very much a modernized effort. Take a little longer, that's fine. Probably, honestly, gonna need another power plant. How are we doing on power? Oh my gosh, yes we will. <laughs> Uh, we'll wait till some of this stuff upgrades, though. Uh, no, you don't get to just take it back. You're already mad. You started- you started a new life mad. No, I don't need to see the combat, thank you. That goes away. Uh, nope. You don't get to colonize unless I tell you. Yep, nope, don't need to see it. Just demolish all the buildings. That gives it a clean pass, and we also get a bunch of cashy cashy. Oh, this is your manufacturing base. We get a bunch of money for destroying the buildings. It's like selling them. Uh, cool. All right. Yep. Bit of a hemorrhage on that power base, and that's okay. We go from five power consumed to twenty-five, but we're producing way more trade. Way, double, triple, something like that. A lot more money. That's that's the important takeaway. That's the important takeaway. Yep. Now we crank it out. Nope. We didn't win. Well, we'll be able to outproduce regardless. And we have food replication now. Uh, I didn't think I'd actually get this far. Oh, I don't need that. I don't need that. We don't have any navy whatsoever. There we go. Uh, I don't know if I even need to do this, but we'll go from six to four workers, which is a delight. For food, yeah. Uh, it'll eat up some more power, for sure, but that'll be pretty good all the same. Just a second here. at work messaging me up and stuff.
I want to make sure that gets taken care of. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, good, good. Good. Uh, I have a bunch of workers now. Two more power plants. I have a little bit of extra iron. Uh, I'm going to do it this way anyway. Uh, 11. 11. No, oh, even Steven that out. Wait. A few turns here. Two more turns. Okay. Yeah, when I when I first thought this up, I'm looking through my videos, I'm like, I never did a no racial benefit and hogtied. I wonder how much this is gonna suck. Spoiler alert. It sucks. We're gonna do that. Uh, nah. Alright, actually, we have the perfect amount of work. F nope. Uh, we'll actually get two more workers out of that. And I accidentally hit enter. I didn't. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Yeah, I knew our production was on the up and up. Oh, thousands some odd monies out of that. Excellent. And we're that. Oh, I don't own it anymore. That's fine. Uh, we'll be able to mass produce garbage without an issue. Uh, can you put it up a bit? Not like a ton. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Cool. So they freed up two workers. Uh, let's do this. Why not? You can take as long as you want to upgrade that. I don't care. <laughs> Just garbage. Garbage units. Uh, we could get heavier stuff. Uh, I wouldn't mind, like, airplanes. That would probably be cool. Uh, what is the military prowess of everyone else? I see no military units except, what is this, like, infantry? Yeah, infantry. Because metal is so rare... Uh, I'm assuming if there is going to be any sort of a, of an army, it's going to mostly be infantry. That gets junked. I just saw what the Tarth said, and they were just laughing. Uh, how we empire-wide. Gosh. Two, four, six, seven power plants. Seven. And I'm still a deficit. Whatever. Yeah, upgrade that. Reach your max potential. I don't care. Uh, we have seven people here. Could copy and conquer over a new territory. I might as well. I like to have a couple of extra settlers. Colonizers? Colonizers. On the payroll. Just to have them ready ready. And I've got a surplus amount of peoples here. Uh, could do power plants, could do something, but this will work out pretty well. Okay. Go through the cycle, yeah. Uh, food, wood. Works for me. Power. Uh, 16, 18, 20. Oh my golly. Yeah, I'll snag a leg those 220s. Shoot, yes. Shoot, yes. Uh, should look something like that. Use taxes, thank you much. It's quiet. How many people do I have? Five? Let's chalk them on over. Cool. Hey, if you guys could upgrade this right away. If we can get a run in, yeah? Okay, there... Someone placed mines. Yeah, I immediately lost a good chunk of my army. You lost half, almost half of your colony's population, though. 
So that was a strong win for me. I didn't take the territory, but that's fine. There. <laughs> Keep working on that. We got the money. I stressed I, I stressed so hard to make sure that we had enough production that that's not a problem. One, two, three, four, five. This, 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 this. Okay. How many more people we got? Uh, five again. Excellent. Oop. Uh, let's get some defenses online. I don't care if they take a while, honestly. Happiness is an issue. We'll go light taxes for a little bit. Making, we're making a lot. Well, now I don't have a troop upkeep, so that makes sense. Good news is, with these two territories, we completely lock out human landing. So, I'm not... Not really futzing about that. That's cool, that's cool. Yep. Yep, five... Nope. Speed that up, shall we? Thanks. Uh, this needs to get boosted. How much energy were you making? 24 is not bad. <laughs> Considering all we've seen, that's not bad. Uh, are there any energy-rich tiles, even? Yeah, energy, electricity seems to be, like, the new crack. There's actually some decent iron reserves here. Maybe I should have started in the mountain. Eh, it's fine. Okay, we need to start working on culture. Let's cut culture a little too close. Uh, let's let that get done. We can cut taxes again if necessary. We're sitting on a lot of production, so... Or just straight up trade, really. So it wouldn't even be that big of a hurt if we did. That looks good. Good. We got defenses. Uh, I have two power plants. Like two more power plants. Uh, the title of this YouTube episode is Power Plants. What is it anyway? No thanks. Okay. One, two, or five. Culture is more important than power right now, considering I have a surplus of power and not a surplus of culture. Um, I would bring more people from the main colony, but the problem with that is, is people will be even more irritated. Even more cheesy cheesed. So once we get the rest of these culture buildings set up, we'll transfer them over. Um... Or is there anything I want you guys to do? Guessed it. More power. Good. No thanks. Five turns. Four turns. Uh, that'll be fine. Famous last words. That'll be fine. Bit of unrest. That's okay. That's actually not okay. Wow, overpopulation. Really, people do not care for. Oh, how many? Oh, gosh. Yeah, I fell asleep. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'll actually win because they've mined their colony. Nice. Nice, Aroni. You have an arrogance that even surpasses mine. Uva Mosk ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> Anytime the Relu talk, they always want to get in like a jab. So I just kind of find it funny whenever they're like, holy craps. What? 
You won? Huh. Fancy those pants. Uh, I will take the lumber. You had tritium there? What? No, go to Red Ridge. I, I didn't think they have these kinds of resources at the available. Okay, well, now the iron market has simply collapsed in under its own weight with how much stuff I just came home with. Uh, actually, with all of the antimatter pods I just stole, disruptor cannons now appear viable. Sure. I've got the cash. It's not a problem. Um, I get why the AI produces antimatter pods, but... I've seen, like, them go to such great lengths to make a ton of it, and it makes... That makes no real honest sense to me. Uh, when also they're going through power problems, but what... Hey, hey, it's fine. Game... Game the way you want a game, right? Live your ultimate dream boat. Whatever. What were we at? Moderate? Moderate will do. And then you're at... Priest? Okay. Chat. Uh, moderate taxes are still pretty darn good, so I am not worried. Three colonies is probably the minimum I would ever recommend if anyone's going to be like, I don't need nine colonies. Like, Three is probably the right number for balancing and getting everything in order. Uh, will I be able to stack wipe everything with this? No. Make a darn good stab, though. Did you mine your colony? You didn't. Awesome. Yeah, that's a, that's a stack wipe. We have here... Steel? Yeah. Electronics, more crap I don't have to make. More iron, also more crap I don't have to make. Chit chit landing. You guys stole that from the chit chits? Rude, A, F. Collective labs, antimatter facilities, uh, hydroponic farms, basic, stupid level one laser turrets. Everything else in that list was fine, but the laser turrets. Come on, man. Upgrade your game. Upgrade your life. Upgrade your game. Okay, we got power. We got everything. Any enduring... I don't need to mine anymore, do I? Not really. Uh, turn you into this. Yep, perfect. Do that for a while. And then maybe I should start converting iron into steel? I have so much iron, it doesn't... None of that matters. That's how beautiful it is, because none of it matters. A lot of money? Uh, not... not a ton. You have here, though, is plenty of power and a solid workforce. That's upgrading legitimately. It super-duper is. One... That's another wash. Surprisingly, your management ability has not been damaged by inbreeding. Wow! <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Relu. Am I ladies and gentlemen? The Relu. <laughs> uh, Cracker Jack every time. There's a prize in every box. Uh Frickin', frickin', frickin' hilarious. Oh, uh, man. Keep smirking, because I'm about to punch that smirk off your face with plasma. No, I don't want anything you have to sell. We almost done here? Cool. One turn. Two turns. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do the same thing. It, another industrial revolution of sorts. No oh, thanks. Uh, we could get that upgrade. No, I don't need it upgraded. Upgraded anyway. How about that? Now what? Uh, 21. 
Let's uh, let's just keep dusting the place. The Uva Mosque have had more than enough time to recuperate and get their stuff together. I find it works best if you have like one or two really good units across a bunch of garbage. So I have the laser cannons, right? They're not going to do anything except be like cannon fodder. But the thing of the matter is, is they're taking the damage that my disruptor cannons would have instead. And I think that's, I think that's worthwhile. Definitely, definitely worthwhile, definitely. Okay, that's going to upgrade in time. That living quarters is not mandatory to be upgraded at all. Uh, nice to have, but not mandatory at all. I'm actually already completely out of Endurium. Uh, what about steel? Can we just crank out a bunch of steel? That gives it also a five times upgrade, right? Uh, resources, steel, five times. Yep, so that makes it just like Endurium. Oh, uh, that works for me. I'm not mining this stuff. That'll give us a very resilient economic backbone. Uh, come over here. You got my move order. Super did. Cool. All right. Stuff, good stuff. Well Uh, aircraft would make this pretty great as well. Uh, I have no real plans to keep any of the territory I am taking. Realistically, I just want to kick everyone in the chomps and get them the heck off my planet. Kind of a thing, right? Uh, what's our money looking like? We're losing 200 monies a turn. I don't need to watch that. As long as you keep going and selling out all the stuff... You can keep yourself in a pretty decent amount of coin, assuming it's like a fairly advanced colony. And now we're making money because I'm sure these all finished. How much money are we making just this colony? Or territory, I should say. 300 monies. Bam. Like, that's, that's income, baby. And as the humans, if we did have our racial prowess, that would give us a boost because humans are best at trade. So, like, building those little economic basins like that, you make bank. Oh my gosh, you make so much bank. All the bank. Okay, Uva Mosque Landing has no one in it. That's interesting. Let's stack wipe whatever's there, and then we'll take out Thunder Plains and then parade all the way down. Yeah, they'll take some of the territory back, but they'll take forever to reclaim all the stuff. Not really that big of a deal. Again, not not worried about it. Did I run out of cash? Holy crap, I actually ran out of money. Uh, we'll make that back very soon. Yeah, I get bent. Made a terrible mistake. No, I didn't. Uh. Oh, okay. I added a little too much fuel to this fire. Uh, one, two, close, three, close. Uh-huh, cool. Uh, probably going to need another power plant. Definitely, definitely going to need another power plant, definitely. Actually, uh, 30, and you guys take 25? Yes, I will want another one. 18 is our winner. Our winner. Feel nice. Nope. Not quite a stack wipe, but the job got done. So, yeah, that was worth a few thousand credits right there. So we come back, we sit in a colony, I keep saying colony and territory incorrectly. We'll sit in a territory for like, really? 
Oh, sweet child, no. Oh, sweet, <laughs> sweet child, turn around. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, we'll sit in a territory for like two, three turns, so our troops reheal. Um, I'll show you the message specifically that'll pop up. Oh, that he, I, that didn't even feel good. That conflict felt dirty. Uh, one more. Nope. Okay. Uh, this. Your fusion cannon has been outfitted. Amazing. Now, we sat one turn in a friendly territory. Upgrade work, upgrade work. No units are being built. Uh, maybe it takes another message or two, but I, I would expect to see, after some repairs, blah blah blah, is ready for the front lines again. There we go. Human cannon just finished all necessary repairs. It's damage gone. The unit is now ready for the front lines again. So, uh, we'll get a lot more longevity out of our troops literally just by bringing them back home. Let them sit in a territory we control for like two, three, four turns. And then we can send them right back out. Really is cheaper than rebuilding them all. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. I have a lot of extra people still. Uh, military airport? Nope. Uh, they're not taking any of my toys without a fight, that's for sure. Uh, nope. That's done deal. Uh, it doesn't matter who I wipe. It, it super doesn't matter. Uh, oh, I won, well, it's fine. I could go see the replay. It's fine. Uh, we're going to go here, and then here, and then back home. We are just getting work done. It's been a slow process, but we are getting work done. And we don't need a big military. Uh, because everyone's hogtied. Yep, the second I see that mines haven't been laid, uh, it's kind of a done deal, in my opinion. How? 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 <laughs> uh, those are absolutely water tiles. Wet, wet plains. Well, anyway, doesn't matter. Nuke. Uh, I'll take these antimatter pods. Thanks. I'll take these electronics. Thanks. Uh, I'm not. I don't care about any of that. Uh, I would like you to come home. Like to reconvene? Nope, right there. Cool, thanks. We're pushing on them real, real good. Give a couple. T oh God! Um, there's gonna be a scandal. Oh, well, that was lucky. Relu colonies are done because the Uvamos got itchy. Thanks, friends. That's one less jerk I got to punch. Ah, oh, I wanted to kick him in from that inbreeding comment. That's probably fine. <laughs> the Uvamosk are now going to get theirs. He won. <laughs> I literally need to see the first five seconds of combat, and I can pretty much gauge how it goes down. We've got three more territories to tap. Let's see if we can wrap this up. When... Minimal losses, which is beautiful. And Relu landing. Cool. Oop, 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 oop. Not bad, yeah? So that was the Hogtide No Racial Abilities Challenge. Whew. That was a tough one, but we got it done. Little little bit of sacrifice at the beginning to make things even out, but I'm happy with how it turned out. So, thanks for joining me. My name is John Megacycle, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. 
Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.